private club membership. Let's face it, it it's mostly expensive. But I think I may have just found the best deal out there. We'll begin our journey here at uh, Polo Golf and Country Club. This was the only towel I could find. Luckily, I brought my own this time. Whew. All right, let's see how it's cold. It looks nice in here. Nice tiling. We got our Billy Jealousy uh, stuff. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that smells good. All right, that's good. I'd say uh, in the shower department, this setup is uh, is pretty nice. And I'm a huge, huge Q-tip fan. Always like a little lotion too. Hair gel's always a nice touch as well. We'll save this for after the round. I'm gonna have a hat on. Bright and early in the morning. One of my favorite things to hear is uh, you're on the tee box whenever you're ready. What an epic fall morning it is. So this is all about the champion's membership. It's full membership at four golf courses. Polo, here. White Columns, The Manor, and Atlanta National. These bent grass greens in the uh, fall are just, are pure. So if you join one course, it's cheaper. But if you join all four, you get uh, club championships times four, you get member guests times four, you get member member times four, you get all the events times four. You're not just limited to the amount of times you can play the four courses. You're a full member at all of them. That's like, for me, that's like four showers a day. Polo is designed by a John Lee Architect golf course, I believe. We have the bent grass greens, Bermuda rough. Fairways here also look like a Bermuda mix. They're gonna be turning brown here very shortly. Hibernation, dormant in the winter. It's time for our uh, cart review here at Polo Golf and Country Club. This is your standard Easy Go TXT model. I have cart number 19. Nice Polo Golf and Country Club logo adorning the hood of the golf cart. We have our standard plexiglass flip up, flip down screen. Four cup holders. We got our standard three and three golf ball holder right in the glove compartment box. We have our nice Easy Go cooler to keep your, uh, your cocktails cool. One bottle refill of sand per side. Use your own side, folks. That's your uh, standard issue, easy go rain protector. The uh, front wheel tread looks pretty good. Back has a little wear on the uh, outer edge, but I still think it meets uh, code standards. We got our standard bench style seating. And they all come with the scorecard and a pencil. And three tees per person for a total of six. Now back to golf.
This will be the uh, coffee review portion at Polo. That's pretty good. I'm somewhat of an expert. Nothing like a little Java after uh, after the round. Well, that's uh, Polo Golf and Country Club. Mmm, beautiful. Let's go see what other trouble we can get into today. Stop number dos. Man, I can't believe you get all this for like that price. Four courses? I never even heard of that. Today we're at White Columns. Let's go check inside this bad boy place. It's pretty nice. So this shower is uh, it's nice, but warm. Nice and warm, I like that. It's your standard like prefab style shower. I would gladly trade some of this dressing room area for more shower space. Of all the locker rooms I've been in, I'll give this um, seven out of 10. Ah. This time we did warm up at the range. Good range, we're on mats today. And they use the, uh, the standard Callaway practice range ball. Now it's time for our cart review here at White Columns Country Club. Once again, we have the standard easy go golf cart, but this time we have the Elite RXV model, cart number 46 for us today. Inside, we have the four cup layout, but it's in a different pattern. Plus there's a little slot for other stuff, knickknacks, range finder, things like that. Each glove box is equipped with two ball holders, plenty, typical plexiglass glass windshield, standard issue. There's no white columns logo on the front. I'm kind of disappointed with that. But the tread on the tires looks fantastic. Typical easy go cooler on the driver's side and each side is equipped with its own sand bottle. Standard issue rain cover for your clubs and we have the standard bucket seat but each seat has its own seat kind of carve out. So it's a little more cozy and comfortable than other models. That's your golf cart review here at White Columns. Hope you enjoyed it. White Columns is a Tom Fazio designed course. Beautiful. We have like a Bermuda mixture fairways. We have bent grass greens and we have a zoysia collar around the greens, which makes it a little tricky for chipping, but it looks really nice. I thought I missed. <laughs> it was a Kevin Na walk. Made it. Fresh brood. Hmm. I have to say, Polo's coffee was a little bit better. That's uh, White Columns. Uh, cool thing about eating here, your food's half off, which is awesome. That's just one of the perks of your uh, awesome membership. All right. Uh, <clears throat> On to the next course. Okay, I'm taking you inside the manor.
first fairway, the manor. Gorgeous day. A little soggy. 120 left. Stripe that first one. Wish I recorded it. Golf cart review time here at the manor. Elite RXV, the same kind as at uh, White Collins. Exactly, there you go. The Manor is a fantastic golf course. Primarily, we're looking at Bermuda and bent grass here. It's a Tom Watson designed golf course, and he did a marvelous job weaving this golf course around this uh, mansion style gated community. And no, you don't need to live here to be a member, but walking this course is incredibly challenging. Uh, I highly recommend riding. But a finely designed collection of unique, awesome golf holes, if you ask me. And if you're liking these style of videos, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the bell so you don't miss any videos that come out like this. And I'm gonna list my best, my favorite coffees from each place in order, number one through four, in the video description below so you know who has the best brew. And I would say the 13th hole here is my favorite. Par five, over some water, dog leg left, reachable hole in two. And it's really the second shot or third shot that make this hole my favorite. About 215 left and uh, this view is what I love, hitting into this green second shot, green bunkers, Bunkers behind it, uh, it's just beautiful Georgia pines in the background. It, it just reminds me a little of Augusta. Mm, I kind of hate saying that, but you know, it kind of does. The Manor Coffee Review. Styrofoam cup, not my favorite, but. To be fair, the restaurant isn't open till later. So, had to get it at uh, the turn. So this is your, the turn coffee stop. Nice aroma, nice flavor. Deep, rich, black, oaky flavor. For styrofoam coffee out of the pump. First class all the way. Good job, Tom Watson. I really like the manor here. Fantastic course. We have one more stop on our four course membership. So far, it's well worth it if you ask me, but there's more. All right, now we're at Atlanta National. Let's say the top level premier facility. This is what you call the uh, more classic style course. this a sauna but then some people said you're the first American who ever pronounced it correctly sauna 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 I don't know but I love it <sighs> love you know waterfall showers they're nice we got the pretty classy club or style club uh, product or shampoo. It's all the same.
Well, that, now that's a fine, that's a fine cup of coffee. Mm. 7.5 rating. Good job. Cart review here at Atlanta National. As always, we're rocking the easy go carts. This model is, again, the TXT model. Number nine today. Got the classic easy go cooler on the side. Double sand bottle, one on each side. Rain gear cover, as always. Tread on these bad boys is about a medium wear. Good for another probably um, 50 rounds, I'd say. Standard issue locking front brake and a very nice Atlanta National logo rocking the uh, front hood. I totally forgot my golf clubs. So I gotta drive back and get those. That's the, uh, the front range, the warm up range. Then you walk right to where I'm standing, which is the first tee box and hopefully stripe one down the middle. We'll see. We got uh, bent grass range, phenomenal. Standard Callaway range balls with the stripe. Mm -hmm. Looks like we got zoysia tee boxes, some fringe, fairways, bent grass greens. Some Bermuda out there too. We're up. All right, so this is a PB die design course. It's not the man, it's this man's son. But uh, I would say the man had his fingers all inside of this place because this is a full on P die style golf course. Crown greens, bunkering, natural size. It's, it's tricky, let me just put it that way. And the greens today are probably at least 12, 12 plus on the stint meter. Now what's cool about this course is there's no tee times. Unlike, you know, a lot of courses out there, old school kind of style. You just show up, line up, and then you get to go. Here's how we know it's a peat die, really inspired course. 14 here, long par four. Railroad tie bunkers down the right hand side of this hole. And cutting the corner puts you in that. What's cool is hard packed sand over there, not hard to play out of. So it's more visually intimidating looking than it really is. So I always try to go really down the right hand side. Just hit it as hard as I can. Let me know which of these four courses is your favorite. Rank them in order. You know, you got Polo, you got The Manor, you got White Columns, and you got Atlanta National. Thanks for watching, guys. Love ya. See you in the next video.